Hi, my name is Lincoln, and today is lesson 61 in, in science today. I studied skin. Uh, derma means skin in Latin. Skin is actually the biggest organ. The skin's purpose is to protect us from the sun. And did you know that skin is two times heavier than the brain? As sweat actually cools you off when uh, you are playing something. And skin uh, lets the brain know what you are feeling. Every human being is a shade of brown. It's just that the people in the northern hemisphere's ancestors were further away from the sun, and the southern hemisphere's ancestors were closer to the uh, equator, which darkened their skin over time. It's actually pretty cool, though. In history today, I, uh, this was Lesson 61, and it was on the jackhammer. The t today in history, I learned about the jackhammer. The jackhammer is a tool that's used in mining, that is used in mining, and const construction and demo demolition. It is a hammer drill, basically. Uh, the jackhammer was invented by Jonathan Couch in 1848 in Philadelphia. Uh, jack jackhammers are hammer drills that are powered by uh, pressurized air pushing the drill. Pushing uh, the drill a bit up and down. Modern jackhammers uh, may run on electricity. The jackhammer allowed for the Mount Cenas tunnel to be constructed 11 years before expected date of 25 years, which led to a massive economic boom of France and Italy. And the the modern jackhammer today and hammer uh, can hammer down. Uh, 20 times a second, or 1,200 uh, times a minute. In the early 1500s, miners used the steam engine to pump water out of mines, but there was a lighting problem in mines. So they just used candles, but there was still a problem. The coal dust and exhaust fumes inside the mine were explosive due to uh, heat loss of the steam suffered over long distances. And the steam engine uh, had to be replaced next to the workers inside the mine. This is why gas masks were invented. And this is also how the jackhammer impacted history. In English today, it, this was also lesson 61. And it was simple verb tenses. The verb tense is uh, expresses the time at which the action described by the verb takes place. The... Major tenses are past, present, and future. The past tense is showing action of the past. The present tense is a showing action of a showing action in the current time or in the now. Future tense is showing action that will come. Past, present, and future are broken down into four parts: simple, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. An S is added to the verb when you have he, she, or it at the subject, as the subject. Regular verbs, uh, uh, you just have to add ed at the end to make it past tense. And, and irregular verbs, uh, the spelling changes to make it completely, to make it a past tense. The vocabulary word for today is accomplish, meaning which is a verb meaning achieve or complete successfully. When we multiply fractions uh, by each other, we are actually taking one fraction and making it smaller. When we multiply something by a whole number, we are making it bigger. However, when we multiply it by a fraction, we are actually finding that fraction of a number. To multiply two, fra two fractions, follow these steps. Simplify both fractions if possible, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and simplify the answer if possible. The answer will represent less than the original multiplier as long as each fraction represents less than a whole. Unlike addition and subtraction of fractions, it is not necessary to have common denominators. It is necessary with reduced fractions. I will see you tomorrow for lesson... Lesson 62. Bye.